This is Piers Morgan Live. Michelle Shocked is the indie folk singer who's made a habit of shocking her fans recently. Clubs around the country have cancelled her concerts ever since she made some very controversial remarks about homosexuality and same-sex marriage. She's here now to tell her side of the story for the first time, joining me exclusively in her first national interview since that incident, is Michelle Shock. Welcome to you. Thanks, Piers. I think to explain what happened, we need to just play a, a bit of audio from uh, this gig you did in San Francisco on March the 17th. And this was an exchange you had with the audience, went on for quite some time, but the one that got all the tension was this. Um, I was in a prayer meeting yesterday, and you got to appreciate how scared, how scared folks on that side of the equation are. I mean, from their vantage point, and I really shouldn't say there, because it's mine too, um, we are at nearly at the end of time. And from our vantage point, uh, we're going to be, uh, I think maybe Chinese water torture is going to be the means, the method. Once Prop 8 gets uh, instated and once um, preachers are held at gunpoint and forced to marry the homosexuals, I'm pretty sure that that will be the signal for Jesus to come on back. <laughs> you said you wanted reality. Now, I, I listened to uh, about 20 minutes of what went on um, on the internet. And what was clear was, although some of the audience were laughing then, that mood changed and they became pretty angry with what you were saying as you elaborated. Uh, you went on to say, look, if one of you wants to go out and tweet that Michelle Schock said God hates and used a derogatory word for gays, please do so. And the mystifying question for many of your fans, and indeed everyone who's read about this story, is why would you say these things? I admit I made a mistake, Pierce. I, if I had the chance to go back and do it again, I don't think I would have taken the audience up on their choice. I had presented an entire performance, and I'd framed it as truth, and then I came back out for an encore, and they requested reality. And what has consequently taken place ever since then is my manifestation of how little I think of reality. I know that it's a stock in trade for a lot of the media to just present things like that's how it really is. But I don't think the audience was ready for the consequences of that. And I surely have not been happy with it. 